A lot of people seem to have this belief that free software only has really technical, really specific niche uses. Like some people seem to think that free software is only gonna be used by skinny nerds or fat neck beards that are just doing hacker man stuff at the terminal all day long. Well, today I'm going to show you guys a piece of free software that completely shatters that stereotype. Something that's gonna be used by models, bodybuilders, professional athletes, or really anyone who's just looking to lose a little bit of weight, and that is Waistline. So you can go ahead and download Waistline from the F-Droid store. If you don't have F-Droid installed on your phone already, you really should because that's where some of the best software on Android is, and a lot of it is also free open source software. Uh, but Waistline, it is a software that is used for counting calories and macros. As some of you guys know, fitness is one of my hobbies. And now that the bulk season is over, it's time to cut down to probably about single digit body fat percentage for the summertime, you know, get a nice beach body going. Uh, so this is where the calorie counting comes into play because during the bulk season, I don't really count calories. I kind of just inhale all of the food that is around me all day, every single day. Uh, man, bulk season is nice, but you know, during the cut season, uh, you gotta try and lose some weight, and really losing weight is just a simple math equation. You have to eat fewer calories um, than, uh, well, you have to eat fewer calories so that you're burning more than what you take in, and boom, you're losing weight. So, and you gotta maintain that for, you know, a long enough time because one pound of body fat is equal to something like 3,500 calories. So you gotta keep it consistent for a little while, especially if you're really overweight so that you can get healthy. Um, now, when you start up um, Waistline, it's going to tell you that you have to calculate your TDEE, which is your total daily energy expenditure. Uh, so to figure that out, how many calories you burn, we are going to have to use some other utilities because Waistline is still in beta. They don't have a TDE calculator built into it yet, but you can go to tdeecalculator.net to figure this out. Uh, and you just need to give it a few different metrics to figure out what your TDE is. So uh, your gender, and mine's gonna be male. We'll put in my age, 25. Uh, my weight is going to be 215 pounds. My height is definitely not 410, six foot four. And then my level of activity, um, I'd say I do moderate exercise, you know, three to five days a week. Wish I could get out more, but my job has been really busy lately. Uh, and then we head over to, so, with TDE, body fat percentage is optional, but I recommend putting it in if, because um, it's going to give you a much more accurate uh, reading on what your TDE is. Now, for most people, you can just use a body fat calculator like this. Uh, if you are like super fit, you know, if you're like a professional bodybuilder who's got like 230 or 240 pounds of lean mass, then body fat calculators, like the type that you find on the internet, will usually not work correctly. They'll probably end up telling you that you're obese because they just, they don't work for bodies that are much larger than what a normal human being would be. Uh, but I'm still in the range of where it is pretty accurate. So my age is 25 and weight is 215 pounds, height is six feet and four inches. Um, my neck is 16 inches, so that's gonna be one foot four inches. And my waist is 34 inches. So that would be, I think, two feet, 10 inches. Let's see, yeah, 34. All right, so we'll calculate. And so my body fat percentage is 13.1%. And I'm actually, um, right like in between being a uh, fitness and an athlete. So that's pretty cool. Uh, so we'll copy this value and put it into the body fat percentage, calculate it, and boom, I get my TDEE, which is 3,414 calories 
per day. So this is basically my maintenance calories. If I eat this many calories every day and I maintain the same level of exercise, I'm not going to gain any weight, I'm not going to lose any weight, I'm just going to keep cruising. So if I want to lose weight, obviously I have to either increase this, you know, start burning more calories a day, decrease this, you know, decrease how much is going into my body per day, uh, or do a little bit of both. That's what I would recommend if you're, you know, very overweight, if you're obese or anything like that, is to cut calories and to start exercising so that you can try to get healthy uh, as fast as possible. All right, so we've got that. Uh, just go ahead and write your TDE down somewhere because you're going to want to uh, compare when you're tracking what you eat every day to this to make sure that you're staying under. Uh, so now, I'll head back over to waistline, and if you click on the three little bars, you get this side panel that comes up. So go into foods. And this is where you would just add in whatever foods that you're eating. So you can click on uh, the plus to add foods in, and then you can go through, uh, choose a name for it, brand, portion, calories, fat, all that good stuff. Um, this is what you might have to do if you're going out to eat at like a restaurant and they're displaying the calories for you. Uh, Cause a lot of the time restaurants don't have like a QR code or something that you can scan to import it automatically. Um, but if you're cooking your own food and doing your own grocery shopping, which is what I recommend uh, if you're really trying to lose weight because that way you have real control over what goes into your body. Um, a lot of the time restaurants will just cover their stuff in butter. So anyway, you can click on this barcode in the upper right hand corner and then you can just scan a food to import its info. So like you can see, this is bumblebee smoked oysters. And so we can see all the calorie and macro info. So we'll scan the barcode. And boom, so you can see all the info there and hit check on the check mark. And uh, let's see, did it import? It looks like it didn't, but that's fine. Sometimes Waistline does that. Like I said, it's in beta. Um, usually you can just close out of it and uh, it'll come back. See, so now we have the smoked oysters in there. Um, and then what you're going to want to do is start creating meals for yourself. So click over to the meals tab and we'll start adding something. Um, so let's say that this will be lunch. So let's say that for lunch I had maybe an onion bagel and I had some ground bison. That's actually pretty close to what I would eat for lunch. Uh, and then we hit the check mark. So boom, it imported all of the information from those two foods that made up my lunch. And so I can see what my calories and what my macros were for lunch. So I can see 472 calories is what I ate, I got 32 grams of protein, and I got 12.5 grams of fat. So there we go, I'm pretty much on track uh, for losing weight. And that is Waistline. Uh, and like I said, this is free open source software. It's not going to do uh, anything spooky. Like, um, you know, if you were to use, uh, what is it, I think MyFitnessPal or whatever the mainstream uh, calorie counter is, those aren't open source programs. So you don't know what it's doing with all of your meal data. It could be sending it to the alphabet boys, which kind of sucks, right? That's even spookier than using your credit card at the grocery store because not only do they know what foods you're eating, but they know when you're eating it. They know how much you're eating. They can tell if, you know, maybe you're training for something, like if you're trying to lose weight or if you're trying to pack on muscles. Uh, so yeah, if you're buying your food with cash to try to avoid all that tracking, but then you put all of your stuff into some spooky fitness tracker, then they already have more information from you than if you just went ahead and used your credit card. But with Waistline, you can avoid all the spookiness. So go ahead and download it today. Lose some weight, get healthy. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Peace out.